7140 pounds. This is a White Hawk 29BH here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And you folks are in for a treat today. Yes, sir. All right, full disclosure, I literally may have a new personal favorite bunkhouse. I'm gonna have to really kinda sit down with a couple of my favorites and really write them down side by side and compare them because this is definitely in the running. This 29BH White Hawk, it's, it's everything. It's amazing, guys. And what's really impressive to me is how the entire Jayco Ultralight family, they have become some of the coolest, most innovative trailers on the entire market. And that's a huge statement coming from a brand who, while always known for being a high quality product, a gold standard product, they've kind of been known for being a little boring in the past, but throw that out the window. I mean, straight out the window. This is, uh, well, as the as the kids would say, this is lit. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm old for my age, and I, it just doesn't sound right coming out of my mouth. So let's examine what we got here. Now, let me give you just a quick panoramic view, and then we'll kind of zero in on a few things. So you've seen trailers like this. The base concept here, not terribly original. doesn't have to be. It's the application, the execution of this concept where they've killed it. So you, the trailers where you've got the, the outside kitchen, the double over double bunks here, and then you got the super slide that faces the entertainment center. We've seen this, but note the details, guys. They took every single room, every inch of this thing, and they combed it and said, how can we make it just even better? And I really feel like they might have accomplished that goal. It's Every RV is the best for a different reason. I still and will always believe that. But my God. So first thing they did, Basically, they took the living room, the kitchen, and they flip-flopped them. So they've uh, swapped the positions of the uh, sofa and the dinette. Now, always remember, guys, the one that we're looking at here in this video, it might be different than the one in stock. You're going to find most dealers are probably going to equip this with a hide-a-bed. We have found a huge outcry from our bunkhouse customers in super slide models saying, I don't need more sleeping space for the kids. I'm mom, I'm dad, we bought this thing, and we want a nice chair to kick our feet up, and we have heard you. Now, we don't do this in 100% of every single RV that we carry here, but we do this quite a bit, and uh, you know, if you're looking for this layout or something similar to a different furniture, we probably have that in stock across different brands, but this is what we're finding a lot of folks are looking for. Now, note though, a full wall-hugging dual theater recliner and a full 84-inch U-dinette. Not a, a tiny two-bench dinette that just has a middle bench shoved in it. That's different. They also, at the same time, flipped the kitchen and the living room. And I like that because if people are bopping in and out of the trailer, they always had to walk straight past you on the TV. On most models, where the sofa's over here and the entertainment is right next to me, anyone that walks in or out of the trailer, they're walking straight past you. It's annoying. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. It's annoying. The other thing is they always mount the TVs on those things up here. And that's not ergonomically friendly. You're going to get a neck cramp real quick. When I was growing up as a kid, they called it Nintendo neck. Because kids would sit on the floor, crank their neck up, and stare at the screen for hours. I was one of them. I'm a Nintendo kid. And I was also a Toys R Us kid, but I guess they're closing. That, that's kind of a... That's sad. Anyway. Um, so, now we've got a theater sort of set up here directly across from this big Furion HD TV. Now, I, I'm not doing us really a favor right now because the pantry doors are closing and I should have paid attention to that. We do still have our handy shoe garage by the entertainment center. We can keep things out of the way. I love the accent lighting in here. You've got accent lighting under each side of the booth, under the sofa, above the slide out. Now, the upper accents and the lower accents are two different lights. So, like, during the day, if you just want it to be really bright in here, it's it makes it feel bigger. In conjunction with that vaulted roofing, the open-feeling vaulted ceiling, it, it really helps just put a little bit of spark of life in here. But at night, that is like runway lighting in an airport to help guide people, you know, through the RV without banging their knees into things. Now, um, the positioning of the hide bed is really smart, too, if it was a hide bed because it wouldn't block you from coming in and out of the bedroom. I have kind of played with that because you can open uh, those theater recliners and get basically the same feel. So the living room arrangement is far more friendly here. But if you're really keen, if you're really good at looking at RVs, 
you're looking at this huge corner entertainment center and going, oh my god, what a waste of space behind that thing. Not quite. Not quite. Follow me in here. Now, we've got a sliding pocket privacy door here for mom and dad. But they didn't just waste that space behind the entertainment center. They used it in the best way possible. How about in your half-ton towable ultralight, would mom and dad like the benefit of their very own walk-in closet with motion-sensitive lighting and wardrobe mirror that is fully accessible whether the slide is in or out. And that's another aspect of this floor plan that just straight up rocks. You can use this model with the slide open, with the slide closed. The slide open obviously makes it much, much better. But you don't have to have the slides open for this thing to work. And how sweet is the flavor of this thing? Now, I haven't really talked a lot about the decor. Um, Miss Stacy Stewart down at Jayco, she has absolutely revitalized the entire... Look at all that crown molding. Heck yeah, brother. But they have, she's revitalized uh, the entire uh, decor and the look of the Jayco family. You know, they're not that, that boring, uh, moldy, oldy look anymore. These things are just dynamite. So uh, we've got our Simmons mattress. They're using higher grade bedding in here. You see that second entry door in the bedroom. That is one of those things that allows for major access to basically the entire RV uh, with the slide closed. I don't have them on currently, but next to that giant front windshield, which does have a privacy shade, by the way, so people aren't going to peek at you at night. No worries there. Um, you've got dual element reading lamps. You touch it once for blue, hold it for white, and you can get light or reading in here. Now, because this nose cap is so aggressive, there's these little pockets on each side of the wardrobe closet. That's there by design, just to kind of help keep things that you want tucked out of the way, out of the way. There's not a power outlet back there or anything, but that's why they have these front stands, so that they can be CPAP and, and phone charger friendly. And if you need to, you can uh, easily lift this full queen bed, and now you can see the really cool underbed storage here. You see those little slide-out totes? You don't necessarily have to to lift the haft, H-A-F-T. You don't necessarily have, need, to lift the bed to get to the storage down there. And they even include a handy little wastebasket, and that's your, your uh, power cord in there. Now, what you're going to see outside is a matching mount to the bedroom t uh, wall mount right here. That is so that if you choose to add a bedroom TV or an outside TV, it can actually float between the two areas seamlessly. It's, it's just, it's awesome. And I love the, I call it the peanut butter chocolate look they got going on here. That nice, beautiful, contrasting look. It is stellar. But I mean, notice the slide uh, wallboard, accent wallboard, cabinet coloration. They all work together with milk chocolatey goodness. Over here, kitchen. So they moved the kitchen. I would argue they improved it. Because the flip-flop version of this, where the entertainment center's over there, they rarely have a true pantry. Now, the Coachman Freedom Express 287 BHDS we have here at Halet RV, it actually has a couple pantries. They've done well, but they had to get bigger, longer, heavier to do it. But it is an awesome floor plan that is also fully accessible. It is absolutely a, a great contrast to this. Now... Um, we've got that kitchen skylight with a sunshade to let in lots of natural ambient light. Notice the double bank LED lights. They're doubling up on the lights in here, which is part of the reason. It's just, it really lights up like a Christmas tree. Over here, stainless appliance bundle with an 8 cubic foot fridge freezer. So it's 33% larger than the standard fridge in a normal travel trailer. You may notice... In the main living cabin, with the highest level of foot traffic, they're using um, cabinet ducted heating. Now, in little areas like the bathroom, they will still have a floor heat duct because there was no logical way to snake uh, heat duct uh, coils over there. But in your main living cabin with the most foot traffic, they're using cabinet ducted heating so that there's not little floor vents on the floor that can collect dirt and debris. Now, uh, just like uh, just like behind the entertainment center, nothing's gone to waste here. The reason that's blocked off is because there's a fixture, an object, maybe a water pump, something down there where they don't want cargo to crush it, so they make sure it can't. You can see that your drawers are higher grade, uh, all plywood box constructed. Little details like that, details like the different chassis, the roof system that we'll talk about uh, outside of the RV, those things are what contribute to Jayco's double length warranty. There is no manufacturer out there that has a longer full coverage warranty than Jayco RV. Even just the look of that stovetop. You know what I like to? It's just that's going to be easier to clean. 
you know, just the, the two grates. It's just less that you have to mess with necessarily. Full-size overhead cabinets. What I mean by that is these overhead cabinets are not sunken back. And this is all pocket screwed cabinetry. It's not particle board cabinetry. It's actual lumber core. You can reach your hand back here. You can feel where it's screwed together. That is something that has been shown to last longer. Okay, the bunk area. They nailed it. And this is the first Jayco I've seen do this bunk arrangement. And I am super happy they have adopted it. First of all, little details. Jayco bunk mats are on average at least 50%, if not double the thickness of most other brands out there with very few exceptions, like maybe Rockwood. But Rockwood's another premium brand who's not afraid to spend money, maybe Winnebago. Um, like this is similar to their 27 BHSS Winnebago, but again, it's a flip-flop version of it. Maybe you'll just like the look of this one better. I'm not sure. I know that I like them both, but this is killer. This speaks to me. Now, both of the bunks have these handy little uh, corner bunk stands, and the camera focus is failing me terribly right now, but you get the idea. There's little bunk stands with power outlets on the upper and lower bunks so the kids on a rainy day can keep their stuff uh, charged. Now, every double overhead bunk like this in a Jayco, it's 600 pounds rated. Jayco has their beds. They're rated for 300 pounds per sleeping space, and that is potentially more than double some of the other things you've seen out there. I have seen double upper bunks rated for as little as 250 pounds. Jayco spends more money on their structure. It means they're not the less expensive brand. But are you looking for something to use very short term or long term? If you're looking for something long term, less maintenance, put together better, maybe this should be on the, uh, on the docket there. And we've got a ladder so you don't have to throw the kids into the upper bunk. And then look at this little farmhouse gate storage segment that they have here. Most manufacturers I've seen with the flip up lower bunk cargo garage, whatever you want to call it, um, they usually have cargo netting down here. And I get why they do it, because it's lightweight, it's it's not expensive, and it, it helps customers understand you can get there for storage. And if I hadn't flipped this bunk up and left it flipped down, you could very easily miss that factor. But the details are what we do here at Halet RV. Whether it's paying attention to your financing, making sure your hitching is right, or showing you everything there is to know about your trailer, that's what we do at Halet RV. And it's neat, because it's got this little positive latch, so cargo can't slide out. But it's still super easy to get to an access. You can back a bike in there, leave the handlebars or whatever sticking out, you're good to go. Uh, lights for the upper and lower bunks, and notice, plywood. Uh, you're going to find plywood roof decking, plywood floor decking, uh, you know, all just better materials through this. You're not going to find, <laughs> my favorite phrase, uh, beaver puke and particle board, you know. Um, and, and look at this. We do still have an extra pantry, or this could be, a nice little uh, linen cabinet or uh, clothing storage for the kiddos by the bunkhouse. Again, super easy to access with the slide close, as is the bathroom. And with this bathroom being located right next to the main door, this is super travel friendly. Now, there's a, a couple easy to miss things going on here in this bathroom. If you look up here, I'm trying to find the correct switch for it. There it is. There we go. We got this little individual night light. Now, during the day, next to the skylight, it doesn't appear terribly impressive, but at night, when there's no light billowing in, when there's no light pollution from that skylight, this whole thing is going to glow blue, and it is going to illuminate the entire bathroom, so you can get in here without having to be blinded. Very nice if you're up early or late. A uh, big sink that adults can actually use, and notice that the sink is corner mounted, as is the accompanying vanity and medicine cabinet, so you don't you don't have to like stand with your naked backside out here in the hallway, as it were, basically your living room, when you're trying to shave your face, or do whatever, you get the point. Porcelain foot flush, full standing split door easy entry shower that is very tall person friendly due to its position, not against the wall, but in the center of the camper at the tallest point in the arch with a skylight in the perfect position. You could probably be about seven foot tall before you have to worry about hitting your head in this thing. Pretty darn close, maybe more. I'm not even sure. Now, but look at this. They had a funny little corner, and they said, you know what? Do something with it. Don't waste this. Fold some towels up, roll some towels up, put some extra toilet paper, put your extra shampoos and stuff over there. We are not going to waste a thing on this. So whether it's just the general layout, the furniture accompaniment, the accent lights, that extra wardrobe closet up there, and that just awesome looking bedroom that really benefits well from that front automotive windshield. 
This thing's a killer, and we haven't even stepped outside. Let's do that. Let's take a look at it and see how she's put together. Okay, so first of all, can we all just take a second to just appreciate the look of this thing? I mean, come on. Look at that thing. If that doesn't look like, uh, it looks like a spaceship. I mean, it actually kind of has a little bit of like the Jayco Australia flair to it in some ways. Some of those little Euro camper looks. But obviously, you know, very American sized and everything overdone the way, just the way that we love them. And I couldn't be happier with this thing. Um, we're going to, again, I want to remind you one more time. This is a sample tr of one trailer that we've had in stock. Not every single White Hawk 29BH is going to be equipped like this. Probably similar. This is how we prefer to equip them. But things change over time. Sometimes customer feedback changes how we build things. Um, or options become available that weren't before. Whatever. So like the full nose cap up here with an integrated automotive windshield. Let's start with that. So windshields are a big thing now. All of a sudden, windshields are everywhere, and I get it. They are cool. They give you good looks. You can see your destination. Um, and uh, what Jayco quickly found out is they weren't windshield people. So they said, you know what? We don't need to be windshield people. The windshield in this uh, actually comes pre-installed from the cap manufacturer because they basically, it, it's an automotive windshield that they know how to install. That's what they do for a living. So Jayco let the experts do it, which is, you know, that kind of logic, the extra testing and, and, and thought they put in this is where Jayco's double length warranty comes into play because their warranty is not just structural. They have a full coverage warranty that covers basically the entirety of the RV short of wear and tear items. And even your automotive warranty doesn't cover wear and tear items, mind you. Um, but uh, a full coverage warranty that goes twice as long as basically anybody else. Now, there are structural warranties out there that go three years, but they don't cover near what Jayco's does for in their full coverage warranty. Not, not even close. Some of those structural warranties don't even cover the welds in an aluminum laminated sidewall built by the manufacturer. Those things can be so, so different. Now, this outside picnic table that self stores right here, this is an option. We like to put these on here. What I love is that it's got its own little handy storage place. It's out of the way when you don't need it, and it does not obstruct this really big, generous pass through storage. Um, now, your nose cap lighting, easy access switch right here, and check out this cool little power outlet right here that is kind of a callback to the history of the white hawk rv um where they first when they first came to market they had an outside mini fridge standard up in that compartment you can still put one in there and they so it's kind of that the history of the white hawk is what allows for that to happen we've got the nicer slam latch baggage doors and those are fully laminated so that uh you you maintain full thickness and insulative quality on those now let's uh zero in on the frame real quick this rides on a different type of chassis jaco has <clears throat> every chassis for every one of their models custom built and this is different from a traditional I-beam frame. This is a Z-frame. Uh, I call it an aircraft-style chassis because it's very much like an airplane chassis. It is lighter but stronger, not less money. But once again, that's this kind of stuff is what allows Jayco to have twice the warranty, guys. Um, as we uh, move through here, uh, you know, little things like power jacks, solar press, it's like that stuff is a dime a dozen. I'm not going to waste your time talking about that. I do want to take some time to talk about something you can't see, though, and that is the White Hawk Glacier Package. And it is one of the very best insulation bundles available anywhere in ultralight trailers, rivaling that of the thermal package found on open range ultralights, uh, which uh, they have actually achieved zero degree testing in an open range ultralight. They have basically the exact same package here. So, most trailers in this class, most trailers that look anything remotely like this, meaning just a laminated trailer, they're going to have probably an enclosed underbelly that's forced air heated, and that's great. I'm not knocking them for it. I'm very happy for it, because that is more than enough for the vast majority of consumers. However... Jayco's gone a step further here. When you apply their Glacier package, you give this basically the exact same insulation protection as like uh, their fifth wheel cousin, the Eagle HT, which you can find here at uh, Halet RV. And an Eagle HT fifth wheel is tested, proven, zero to 100 degrees capable. I don't know that this isn't capable. I just know they haven't tested it. So I'm not going to make a false promise. I want to share what I know, not what I think, not what I feel. I want to share what I know. So... What it does, it, the underbelly on this is always enclosed. A neat thing on Whitehawks, no matter what, 
is they always have insulated slide outs. That's something you don't typically get in the industry. Now, uh, they add multiple layers of insulation on the underbelly, radiant foil, batten insulation. Then they double the insulation in the roof, wrap it around the nose cap. They basically give this thing just a thermal blanket. And it is fantastic. It just gets the job done. Before I move along too far, a couple things I want to point out. Tires. Tire quality, tire safety, and towing is a big question mark in this business. And I will erase that question mark and just put a period at the end of that sentence here for you. Jayco rides on American-made Goodyear Endurance tires. They have the highest sidewall integrity rating. They have the highest speed rating. They are made for this. Now again, it's another area they spent more money than potentially Brand X. And it doesn't mean that other brands don't have good tires out there. All I'm saying is that Jayco has the best tires out there. There's only a very select number of very elite brands doing this right now. Um, the suspension on this is also a wide stance stability axle system. And what that does for you is it helps keep the trailer from wiggling back and forth. So you're not going to have as much uh, sway. It's not going to try to push you around the road. It also bounces less, guys. It tracks better behind your vehicle. It is not a replacement for an anti-sway hitch. It is a supplement for an anti-sway hitch. It'll just make it work better. If a trailer doesn't have that, it doesn't mean it's a bad trailer. There's other good suspension methods out there. This is just the way that they have found their product works the best. So uh, the Magnum Truss Roof System, this starts with a plywood roof deck. They use thicker uh, roof trusses. And being double arched, this actually has more even insulation across the roof, so you don't stand the chance of having insulation gaps along the sidewalls, which is pretty common in this industry. Um, all LED lighting, markers, and tail lights. Basically, LED lights... Uh, as compared to incandescence, these things will fire 12 milliseconds faster. And at highway speeds, it means uh, potentially five foot or more of additional stopping time for the person behind you. It matters. Now, they're also all LED lights, tails, and markers. Even luxury fifth wheels, the most popular luxury fifth wheel out there, still doesn't have LED tail and marker lights. And here you have it on. And Jayco does it all the way down to their very base starter level trailer. And a sweet low profile outside kitchenette with a telescoping uh, kitchenette and a real sink with a real drain. Not the dog dish you have to flip onto the ground and upset the seasonal lady next to you who does not appreciate when you flip water around her campsite. And for good reason. I mean, you, you know, you don't necessarily need to be doing that all the time. But now you don't have to because... It's all taken care of for you. You've got your hot and cold water access. There's no detachable hose you need to mess with. This is camping. It's, it's recreational vehicles. It's supposed to be fun. It's simple. It's easy. There's gas struts built into this thing, so even if you kind of hit it a little bit, it'll keep itself in position. And then when you're done with it, you just kind of slide it away. Now, I'm in the cold right now, so it, you have to be a little more aggressive with it. But there you go. You can see it gets the job done. There's also little neat uh, accent lighting out here, which is uh, very... Oh, I've got my power off. But there's... You remember those uh, blue LED light I showed you in the bathroom? You got one in here, too, so you don't clutter up mosquitoes around your entry door. The entry door is friction hinged, and it's wider. It's a 30-inch door, so it's easier to come in and out of. And let me back up. Look at this. Look at this awning. It's huge. It's huge. You're going to have more than enough patio space here. Um, moving on. Outside entertainment. Also under the awning. Easily protected. Remember, if you choose to throw a TV in the bedroom here, that mount is the TV you can throw it on, and it can quickly mount and dismount inside or outside. Just handy little stuff like that. So, you know, we've got the industry's longest full coverage warranty. We have stunning good looks. We have one of the most effective awesome new layouts a full automotive windshield not window what more do you want guys <laughs> I, i'm not joking this might be my new personal favorite bunkhouse i no joke no exaggeration so if you agree give us a call 800-256-5196 we're Haylet rv of Coldwater, michigan we only do everything whether it's educating you through our videos like this Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, RV financing, RV delivery, package deals with trucks, we do that too. So if you're looking for a one-stop, easy, fun, everything dealer, we have 
clearly published our pricing on our website. We don't do bait and switch sales. We only advertise on our website that which we have in stock. And you can review that via the link in the video description or give our team a call or whatever works for you. We are here to assist you. We want to put the recreation back in recreational vehicles. If that sounds good to you, then you give my family-owned business here a call. We'll get you camping. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Happy camping, everyone.